If there's one person I really wouldn't want to meet in the 41st millennium, it's probably Pius Vorn. This girl's crazy. Um, she's definitely one of those fanatics who loves to burn people. Uh, and I really enjoyed painting her. So let's take a look at how she turned out before we get into how we did it. So here she is. Um, I'm actually really happy with how she turned out. I was very intimidated by this model. I was not expecting it to turn out as well as it did, all things considered. Um, I, I really couldn't be happier. So, let's talk about how it worked. After, of course, I start off with the Zenithal highlight, as I've been doing with all these models, mainly just to build a map of the character, just so I can kind of get used to it, see all the parts. It's a little bit easier than working straight on black. The very first thing I did was I realized that the flames were not white enough to start off as a base. So I went in with a uh, ghost white and just gave it a good strong white base. Next I started working on the color gradients for the flames. And this was a combination of a couple different colors, uh, including just a, a bright yellow, a uh, fiery orange red, and then just a charcoal black for the very very tips. And that worked a lot better than I thought it would. I did have some cleanup, and I was glad I started with this, because this was an intricate model. After that, I went in with some of my gold and just laid down a base coat for the crown on top of the head, or it's, I guess it's an iron halo of some sort, and this giant, wicked chain sword flamer gun, as well as a few other details uh, on the backpack the uh, dangly bits, and of course, this chain smoke brazier thing on the back. I then went in and just did a base coat on the face with Panzer Aces, which was, you know, really fast. Nothing, nothing too special going on there. After that, I went in and rebased with black on all the armor bits, as well as some burnt red on the cloak and the cabling of the flamer itself. I went in and added some blue to the book, as well as a little bit of red on the strap. Next I went in and started working with some of the metallics, up to and including a dark copper that I mixed with some additional charcoal paint just to get a nice burnt down look on the bottom and some silver that I used, I think it was gunmetal on all the mechanical parts such as the gun itself, some of the bindings on the hoses, a little bit of the backpack and the uh, little chimney coming out of the backpack that uh, top flamer thing after that I went in with the black and I just started highlighting and with progressively lighter shades of gray, really picking out all the edges and highlighting all the details. And then just on the very, very tips, I added a little bit of metallic paint uh, just on the edges. And then I focused in on getting every single one of those ridiculous little rivets. Uh, it was a pain. For the red fabric on the know, skirt, maybe? Um, I went in and I started off with a little bit more burnt red in the folds mixed with some charcoal. I started going progressively lighter. Um, and then I, I really started adding what was essentially a rust or an oxide color and just started wet blending essentially that in across the top and just was really messy and rough with it. I think overall that gave me a very good look with some flat red i highlighted the tube on the flamer added a few details inside of the, the uh, loin cloth scroll as well as the purity seals and then it's pretty much done i found with a lot of these blackstone fortress characters that i'm freaking out a lot about how i'm going to be doing certain things finding that it's actually a lot easier. I think some of that is that each of these models are absolutely unique from each other. They're not really like other models. These are not ones that I painted, so it's challenging. 
There is a couple of details that I've omitted at this point. I haven't done any writing on the uh, scroll between her legs, and I haven't put in the wording here, mainly because I don't want to right now. I'm just not feeling up to it, and I'd rather kind of move on with other things. Yellow was a little bit challenging behind here because yellow is just a very, very difficult color. I believe there is some striping that I can put in here. I'll probably say that for another day. But overall, Pious Vorn turned out really well. I'm very pleased. I did the standard basing job for Blackstone Fortress that I've been working with the 3D printer. And I'm still happy with it. I feel like it works really well. And looking forward to moving on to the next model. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I come out with content about mm, once a week. So if you hit the bell button, you'll know about it whenever I come out with new content. Please leave a like, those do help the channel quite a bit. Um, I'm going to be working more on 3D printing related videos uh, because I've noticed that people seem to enjoy those a lot. I will still be doing some painting videos as well, but you know, I think some of the joy for me is, is getting people to like uh, and view what I'm working on and that seems to be one of those unique things that I can do. I will, of course, be painting it and, you know, giving you an idea of what it looks like in a finished state. But, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. This is Synthetic Black. I will catch you next time.